Today, we're testing out and finding out the truth about the boy Jonathan David. Is he worth the price? Will he help you get more wins? We'll find that out by using the measurement I call Wondrous Mid or Doodoo. -doo. We're going to be putting him to the test. In the three games, if he doesn't get five goals and two assists, he's either Mid or Doodoo. -doo. But if he does get that, he's either Wondrous or Mid. I'm also going to be telling you the best ways to use this card for him to perform for you if you ultimately decide to buy him. And I'll be breaking down the stats on what I like and don't like about the card. Now, before I say anything, this card currently is 1.1 million. So we'll find out if he's actually worth that price. But first with his dribbling. Now, let me tell you something about this guy's dribbling. Absolutely nothing special to me. He could not really twist and turn like I'd like. I had a little bit of issues with that. For sure, for sure. Like, once again, here with his dribbling, when I feel the card the way it moves, it doesn't move crazy. Like, he can definitely get caught up to and tackled easily. Take it off the pilota. Like, it's nothing to the defenders. Ah. Now, what about his shooting clinicality ability? Now, there's a few things I have to say about that. I'll let you know later on in the video. But there's sometimes some animations that I didn't really like. But more on that later. Now, I can't say his dribbling was absolutely atrocious because the connection was a little bit poor but i can tell that he was not the best dribbler because if i had compared to jj okocha that was in this game it wasn't as good now what about the boy jonathan david's pace now look this situation you're about to see doesn't describe his pace well enough do i think he's the fastest guy not really but there are times where i use his pace and he's able to get in behind and actually create a goal scoring opportunity which you'll probably see later on in the video now before i get into the best ways of using this card i'm also going to show you another example of him using this pace and he does have some times where you can really get past the defense and use that pace to burn the defense but that's what i gotta say about the guy's pace now listen we gotta talk about basically the most important thing with this type of card his finishing and clinicality ability so listen to me when i say this his finishing ability there are times where the keeper is flying like an eagle when he shoots the ball and just saves it but if he's in the box and you finesse most of the time it's going in but outside the box might be a different story now there's another important thing i gotta tell you about this card but before i tell you if you need four coins be sure to use code cv3 on u7 buy for six percent off link in the description or link in bio for safe coins but look sometimes you'd be missing those like how now with him having the finesse like messi plus you would expect it to be absolutely wondrous now if this was hyung min son that would go top bins but right there not it now the thing i do like about this card is that he has press proven and he does have a little bit of that brute negro strength we'd love to see it now what about the best ways to use this card and let me be honest if you're a counter attack type of player this might be the card for you because you just gotta send in through balls to him and hope he gets it and runs past the defense which most likely he can do because of his play style and he has the ability to possibly hold them off a little bit because of the brute strength i was talking about now another way i suggest you use this card is once again sending in through balls but don't go all the way and try to get fully in behind send in the through balls and then try to cut sideways right away and hit him with a finesse like messi and hopefully he could try to get it into the back of the net or at least give you a corner because it's outside the box finesse like messi is not the best from what i've seen it's still capable though now another thing about this card he does have a little bit of versatility what i mean by that is that you can also play him with his back to the defense since he has press proven he can kind of turn quickly and give you another opportunity to either pass it off or hit the finesse like messi some other defenders will get bodied mad easily but not him jonathan david has now decided to take the free kick but does he score david is gonna take the shot and the keeper saves it quite easily but listen the good thing about this card is that he has versatility when it comes to his finishing ability because he has trivella plus so if you're on the other side and you can't get the angle you can hit the trivella and actually score this was the finesse like messi but he can also do it from the other side when you hold the lt button or l2 button and shoot look he might not have all the best dribbling abilities or a certain movement but he has a lot of shooting traits that you can use to give you goal scoring opportunities just like those oh but now we gotta get to the truth about this card. Is he wondrous, mid, or doo doo? First, we have to find out what his stats are looking like. Now, in the three games, the fourth one doesn't count because my opponent just left that game and gave us the win. But Jonathan David finished with five goals and zero assists. So that lets me know, for me, I believe that the boy Jonathan David, I couldn't give him doo doo with a name on it, but I gotta give him mid. I was gonna say Moodoo, but mid because he has so many great traits that could really help him be wondrous at certain times. I do not think he's worth that 1.1 million. But you may also need a solid card right here. Find out if this card is wondrous, mid, or doo doo as well. Well, adios.